Good morning, my name is John Cairns. I'm the Community Benefits Advisor with Balfour Beatty. I'm delighted to have been invited to take part um, in this Skills in the Workplace session by colleagues at DYW Moray. Um, during the next 10 minutes, I'm going to give you an overview of what we do as a company, what Balfour Beatty does and what I do within um, Balfour Beatty in my current role. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I got to where I am now uh, and also just give you a preview of some of the jobs that we deliver um, across Scotland. Um, I'm going to speak about the wide range of construction uh, careers that exist. Um, but just to give you a little bit of background before we start as well, I, um, this is the sort of history, the timeline of Balfour Beatty. Um, it's one of the older, oldest construction companies uh, in the UK. It's the biggest construction company in the UK with approximately 20,000 employees worldwide. Um, like any business, you have to start small, and there's been growth over that 110 years period. Um, started off in Scotland, um, building hydroelectric schemes, um, and over time, our, the, the projects we manage and take responsibility for have grown and grown. Um, so it's, it's large scale infrastructure projects that Balfour Beatty deliver. Um, we've got loads of different specialisms within the business. We've got specialist bits of the business that do rail, gas and water, power and transmission and uh, transmission and distribution. Um, I work within our construction arm um, and typically we're building large scale schools, hospitals, university buildings, road networks, um, etc, etc. Um, some of the lar larger schemes are profiled on this slide, um, things like renovating the Olympic Stadium uh, and building the Channel Tunnel. Um, and a little bit about myself. So I live up in the north of Scotland. I live near a place called Huntley uh, in Aberdeenshire. Uh, and I've worked for Balfour BT for um, three and a half years. Um, I was new to construction coming into it. Um, I, I didn't work in construction straight from school. Um, when I left school, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. Uh, and I ended up studying um, politics at university just because that course offered flexibility. There's loads of different modules within the degree. Um, and I enjoyed it, but even when I finished university, I didn't really know what to do after it. Um, and I ended up working for a local authority, um, working with schools, managing education programmes and managing youth employment programmes. Um, but I, I did that for seven years. But I, as I, as I um, did that role, I sort of got to interact with loads of different businesses and I was interacting quite a lot with construction companies and helping them run events, coordinating events um, for schools. And that sort of got my interest and I started researching more about jobs in construction and investment and in local infrastructure. Uh, and that got me really interested in working for Balfour Beatty. Um, and there was, there was an element of the right time at the right place with the right skills. Um, it was a new job, so it was newly created, uh, as is the case across uh, lots of industries just now. Uh, and one of the things that you'll find as you're moving through school and progressing in at the workplace is a lot of the jobs that you're going to move on into, they don't exist just now. Because um, the technologies don't exist just now, technology is ever evolving. So the chances are that the job that you'll move into once you finish school hasn't been invented yet, the technology hasn't been invented yet. Uh, and that was sort of the case for, for me, the job was new, um, so I was brand new to it. Um, so I had that sort of flexibility to shape the job, um, had, had loads of self-management in terms of setting my tasks every day and setting priorities and things like that. Um, but I, I really enjoy that, that challenge of having to um, address a problem and come up with new solutions and ideas for how to deliver work. So um, that was quite part of the appeal for, for me, moving towards Balfour Beatty. Um, in terms of jobs that we've delivered, um, you'll recognise the project on the screen, Elgin High School. Um, we, Balfour Beatty were the principal contractor on Elgin High School, um, which was handed over in 2018. Um, and it was one of the first project teams which I supported when I when I joined Balfour Beatty. 
Um, so I, I, I sort of saw the transition, the demolition of the old school and the construction of the new sport facility pitches. Um, so cracking new facilities uh, in Elgin. Um, and the jobs that we're doing in Moray just now are, are, are quite similar. So um, we've since started the new Lossie Mouth High School, which started on site in October 2018. Um, so this is a 3D image of what the school will look like once it's finished. Um, and this is our latest progress photo. So you can see that um, we're getting there. It's nearly there. Um, before lockdown, um, we would have been aiming to finish the school uh, this month in August. Um, but obviously lot, lots of stuff has been delayed um, with lockdown and not being able to work as normal. So um, we're hoping that the new school will be finished shortly. Um, but you can see all of the external landscaping has been done now. Um, and we've roughly got between 80 to 100 people working internally in the school, fitting it out, fitting all the classrooms out, laying flooring, etc, etc. So it's a busy, busy time, busy place, um, but a very exciting project to be working on um, in Murray. And at the same time, um, we're delivering the new Linkwood Primary School, um, which is in Elgin. Um, with the 3D de design image, and then this is the latest drone photograph, which was taken last month, uh, last week. Uh, and again, that's that's that. I guess that's a new career that's evolved and developed over the last couple of years. Um, drone operators um, didn't exist five six years ago, uh, and now they're very much commonplace within construction. We have drone surveys completed every month because um, they really show the scale and scope of the projects and um, they really show the progress that's been made on site. So you can see here uh, in this photograph that all the external car parking has been done at the back of the school and um, we're just working on finishing the access road and then all the external hard landscaping. And again, we'll have um, a team working on the internal fit out of the school. Uh, and that should be finished in the next couple of months as well. So um, an exciting time within the north of Scotland. We've got lots of projects that are starting or ongoing. Um, you can see the, the way we're working, we've had to adapt. Um, you can see in the background that I, I'm not on a site today, I'm at home. Uh, and like many other people, having to adapt to using new technologies, video calling, Microsoft Teams, um, Skype, and Zoom um, to keep in touch with people just in this sort of interim period where things aren't quite back to normal yet. Um, I've been getting out and about to sites, but um, yeah, the space is more at a premium now, so I'm not on site every day. Um, so I haven't adapted last three, four months, just upskilling um, myself and using digital technologies. And everybody's been the same across many, many different industries. It sort of just put a focus on the importance of digital skills and being able to use new digital technologies. Um, but in terms of jobs in construction, I just wanted to give you a flavour. Um, a lot of people think about traditional skills, um, be it joinery, uh, electricians, painting and decorating. Uh, etc etc but there's so much more within construction you've got people like quantity surveyors that manage the budgets um, for projects you've got engineers that help with all the setting out and uh, making sure that we're digging holes in the right places and everything's uh, as per the design um, you've got your project management team you've got administrators you've got health and safety specialists and um, you've got people like me who are the community leads for projects so it's a very varied and interesting industry to be working in um, the, and it offers lots of different flexible career pathways. Um, so I guess you're, I always think that people tend to move about quite a lot now. And, um, people are moving and changing careers every three, four years. So it's important to have that sort of flexibility um, in, in, in terms of your, like your skill set and be been able to apply your skills across different industries because the, the chances are that once you move into the workplace you won't stay and do the same job for the rest of your life um, that's sort of maybe how it would have worked in the past going back 30 40 years people would have had a job for life but now it's much much different um, so it's important to have 
soft skills and being able to de demonstrate things like uh, communication uh, and teamwork. Um, and I'm just going to leave you, I'm going to skip on to this last couple of slides um, in terms of just where do I go for more information um, and I would direct you towards a website called Go Construct. Um, it's got lots of different skills profiles on it. It tells you all about different jobs in uh, construction, new jobs which are being created just now, um, the types of courses you need to study at college or university, and also telling you about all the range of modern apprenticeships, foundation apprenticeships and graduate apprenticeships which exist. So that's a great starting point. Um, there's some games there for you to play. Um, and just get more of a feel for what's involved in construction and engineering. Um, and then last but not least, um, Balfour BT, we've got our own careers page, especially for people that are starting an early career. So well worth checking that out. And again, there's lots of videos, uh, photo content, um, just for you, for you to learn more about what we do and the different career options that exist within Balfour BT. Um, so yep, uh, just conscious of the time, so, um, I hope you all enjoy your induction and enjoy starting secondary school and I'm hopefully I'll see you guys in person soon in the next few months. Alright, cheers, thanks for your time, bye.